Hi everyone. So now we'll talk about PHP. Like what is PHP? What kind of programming language is this? What kind of features PHP has? We'll also talk about PHP history and version. And in this part, you will find lots of basic interview questions. Not advanced level, but basic. And trust me, basic questions are the always most important interview question. For example, you are giving an interview and you are not able to give the answer of basic questions. And that will make a really bad impression. All right. So be always prepared with the basic questions whenever you, you will go for interviews. So now let's move on the first point like what is PHP? We know that PHP is a programming language and that is used for build web applications and website. You can ask a question there like what is the difference between web applications and websites? See when you create some simple web pages like home page, about us page, contact us page like this kind of uh, uh, application or you can say that site that time we can say that this is a website but when you create a complex program that will run on web browser or uh, your chrome browser or you can say that on web server that time that will be a web application all right php stand for hypertext preprocessor we know that this is a again basic thing and php is a server side scripting language what does mean like what is the meaning of server side and what is a scripting language i'll let you know in a minute but first see php is the faster than other scripting language like asp or gsp all right okay so now let's move on that point like what is server side scripting language for that i'm just moving on this next slide we have two kind of programming language what that can compile another that can be interpreted and when a programming language can interpret it rather than compile that means this is a scripting language for example php asp jsp or uh, you can say that javascript javascript also a scripting language all right and again we have two kind of scripting language one is server side scripting language like php asp jsp and another is client side scripting language like javascript so let me explain what is the server side scripting language so whenever a programming language code is execute over the server that means this is a server side scripting language right uh, just let me uh, give you some more details so here you can see that this is your computer and you are just uh, using the chrome browser there and you just open the new tab and just hit the name of any website and that time a request will go to the server and if server return the proper result that means this is the server side scripting language for example if you just want to know the answer of 2 plus 2 if this will result is if this will return the result that means this is a server side scripting language right and php will return definitely but if the server will return the code and that code will execute over your browser that means that is the client side scripting language the example of server side scripting language as i already given you like php asp and gsp and the example of client side scripting language is javascript so whenever you have a javascript file and you just ask for some result that code will never execute over the server server always return the code and your browser will execute that code all right okay fine so now let's talk about some features of php see this is the open source and free to download language open source means you can contribute there you can just write your own library your own code and you can just try to contribute with the php and you can download it freely you can use it freely there is no license required and all and this is the platform independent also that means you can just run it over the windows linux or mac any operating system after that php is the faster programming language uh, rather than other scripting like uh, uh, you can say that uh, asp or gsp not to the javascript because javascript is the client side scripting language this is completely depend on your system performance all right uh, again php will automatically convert the variable data type for example if you are using java or c plus plus and other programming language some other programming language that time you have to declare like what kind of value you want to store in the variable like integer value string value boolean value and all 
but in php you don't need to declare the variables data type you just assign the any value php will automatically convert that value uh, to the suitable data type all right so these are the features in next part we will learn that how we can install yeah one more thing history and version so current version of uh, uh, php is 8.2.6 and let's say if you are watching this video after uh, six month or one year of uploading that time maybe version will be just get updated so just uh, check the official website for this but current version is 8.2.6 and uh, the first version of php was available in early 1995 right so that's all and in next part uh, we will install php with the mysql and some other things also i'll let you know about uh, in the detail in next part and uh, this is my Paytm number for donation. If you have any query, any question, you can ask me in the comment section. And please like this video, subscribe my channel also. Thank you so much.